In this lesson, we're going to learn how to record our screen with Filmora. So when you first launch Filmora, you do notice this uh, screen recorder tool down below. And we're going to just click on it to see how we can record our screen. So immediately you get this tab. This is where you get to choose your settings and prepare everything in order to start recording. You also get these blue lines all around your screen that you can just move around and adjust the dimension of the area on your screen that you want recorded. Notice as I'm moving this away, we're getting a gray area and we're getting the normal area. So whatever is grayed out means that it's not going to be in your recorded footage. So if you just want to record, let's say, let's say this part of your screen, you can do this so that this part does not show up in your screen recording. I'm going to bring this back. You can also grab the corners on the bottom of your screen to make this uh, better so that you can choose the right dimension easier than if you were to just grab this side and then this side. So you can freely move the dimensions of your screen. Notice how the numbers are changing for width and height. If I move these around, you can see they're changing. Let's bring this back and I can hit this middle button to uh, just drag the thing entirely. You can see if I'm going up and down, but I am moving the area with the set dimensions that I have done earlier. Let's make it a little slim. And now you can see I'm just dragging that box that I just made. So let's go back and I'm going to make this like really small. And let's say I have a dimension in mind and I just want to maybe go for 1080p for my video, which is the landscape shot with the ratio of 16 by nine. So I'm just going to type in the number that I want. I'm going to type in 1920 by 1080. And this is setting the ratio of my, uh, we would have to first lock this. So let me type in 1920 by 1080 again. And then we're going to lock this in place. So now this uh, dimension, which has a ratio of 16 by nine is uh, locked together. So the width is relevant to the height, meaning that if I grab one of the corners here, I'm not changing the, uh, the ratio of my box or the ratio of the width to the height. You can see it's pretty still, no matter if I grab the bottom here or the side. This is only happening because we have locked and linked the width and the height together. So I can just grab one of the corners and make my uh, box larger, like so. Grab one of the corners here, this guy, there we go. So um, I can just link these together to get a definite ratio of my uh, box that's going to contain whatever I do for my screen recording. So this number is a bit too high than what we just kept in, but the ratio is still 16 by nine. So it's all about the ratio. And uh, it really depends on what you're going to do with this video. You can go for a 16 by nine, a one by one, which is a square, or maybe a four by three. It all depends on whether you're going to, let's say, upload it to YouTube, to Instagram, IGTV. Once you know what you're going to do with this video, you would know the dimensions that you are going to need. So um, let's go ahead and just type in other things. So 1920 by 1080 will give you a video quality of 1080p, which, which is a rather high quality. If you go above this, you'll get an even better quality. But if you want to go for something lower, you can go for 720p, which would be 1280 by 720p. There we go. So this, again, it's linked. So if whatever I, so if I grab one of the corners here, you can see that the box is fixed and I'm not really changing things freely as we did when it was unlocked. I unlock this. I can freely change the width and the height, but once I enter a number and then lock it, it's going to be uh, locked in place. 
like so. Let's go ahead and just increase the box here. Go full screen again. There we go. If you want 1080p, you would go with 1920 by 1080. If you want 720 pixels or P, you would go with 1280 by 720p or just 720. If you want lower than 720, which is 480, you would go with uh, 854 by 480. You can find the dimensions uh, on the internet if you want something other than these three. And then you would just type them in here, but make sure you lock it so you don't accidentally end up changing the ratio. So that's the width and the height. So you can also go down here in this drop down menu. Right now we were on custom. We're able to add some numbers ourselves. But if you go on full screen, it's going to, uh, first of all, snap to full screen. And it's going to give you the numbers that, uh, the dimension that your screen has, which in my case is this one. So those were the dimensions. And remember that the higher the dimensions, the more quality your video will have. Next to this, we have the microphone option. If you're going to do a voiceover, you would want to turn this on. If you're going to do this without uh, voiceover, just turn it off. If I turn this on, you can see as I'm speaking, the green bar is just going up and down. This is a great way to check whether your microphone is fully plugged in and if the uh, audio is loud enough. If you're speaking loudly and this green bar is just stuck at the bottom, it means that you're either too far from your mic, your voice is too low, or your um, microphone is not fully plugged in and you have some issues with it. And if it's going all the way to the red bar, which is up here, you would know that it's you're uh, being too loud and your microphone is way too close. You wanna keep it in the green area. So we have the option for external mic, which is what you plug into your device. But if you don't have an external mic, you can use the built-in uh, microphone that's in your computer. If I click on this, you can see that I'm still getting the audio. So that means that my microphone is working on my device as well. You can choose whichever one you prefer. I'm gonna go with my external mic. And then next to that, we have our device audio. So this is the uh, audio that's coming from our device, whether it's an error sound, a video playing on YouTube, whatever comes from your computer speaker is going to be in your audio recording if you allow it. If you don't want the uh, speaker audio, you can just click it, uh, click on this to turn it off. You can do the same with this as well. It depends on which ones you want. I'm going to turn this on. And when you're doing this for the first time, uh, Filmora is going to ask you to install the speaker audio, which you would just have to hit OK and enter your computer's password and then just restart your computer. It's pretty easy. So I've already done that, but you can just go ahead and do it if you get that message. And right now there's no, uh, the green bar is not here because there's no audio coming from our speaker, but we're going to see in a second how this works. And then finally, we have the camera, which is the webcam. We will learn about this in a different lesson. And then you can just go ahead and start recording. But there are some advanced options that we're going to take a look at. These are very important and you don't want to skip them. So right here in settings, there's a drop down menu. Click that once and you're going to get this drop down menu. First of all, you want to choose where these recordings are going to be moved to once they're saved. I have kept it on my desktop. You can browse for others or use the folders that are already here. Then uh, we have the frame rate, which we briefly talked about in previous lessons, but essentially what frame rate or FPS is, is the amount of frames or images, still images in a single second. So the higher your frame rate, the more quality your video will have. Right now we're set to 30 uh, FPS, which means that in a single second of my recorded footage, there is going to be 30 frames or 30 still images. And that way I'm going to get a uh, really high quality footage. And when I move my mouse like this, we're going to get every movement in that recorded footage. But if I put a low number lower than 30, 
I will get some skipped frames, meaning that in my recorded footage, my mouse is going to be here and then it's just going to suddenly jump here. And we're not going to see every movement that uh, you're doing on your screen. So for your frame rate, I would highly recommend sticking between 30 and 60. Going higher may uh, make your device a little laggy. It all depends on how much your device can take. You should stick with 30 and if possible, if your device can take it, you can move up to 60. I'm going to stick with 30. You definitely don't want to go lower than 30. Like we said, you're going to get a really bad result. Below that, we have the quality of our video. Obviously, if it's high, it's going to be better. But again, if your computer can't take it and uh, it's just laggy, you would want to bring this to medium, not slow. Uh, just bring it to medium. And if you were on 60, uh, this is the best setting that you can get. But if you saw your computer is laggy or Filmora is just uh, not functioning uh, smoothly, you can just bring this down to 30 quality, bring it down to medium. We're going to see the difference between these. Uh, we're going to record two separate footage and I can show you guys uh, how these affect your video. We have a record timer, which is uh, when you tell Filmora to stop recording after a period of time. So I can turn this on and just click it once. And basically Filmora is going to record for 10 minutes and then it will automatically stop. So you can use this if you want. I'm going to leave mine for like a few seconds so I can show you guys. Let's go for five seconds. And then below we have mouse, show mouse clicks in recording. So whatever I click, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get a little circle and I can choose the color of that circle right here. I'm gonna stick with the yellow. If you don't want that feature, you can just uncheck this, but it's a great way to show the people who are seeing your video where you're clicking because sometimes your your clicking sounds are not loud enough and people can't tell where you're clicking so this is a great way to show them and then we have play mouse click sound and uh, if you don't want that you can go ahead and turn it off but if you want that clicking sound you can just leave this on and then we have uh, start slash stop hotkey which right now is shift command 2 then we have pause and resume hotkey, which is control P. So basically if I started recording and um, I hit shift command two, it's going to stop recording. If I hit it again, it's going to start. And the same thing applies here. If I hit command P, it's going to pause my recording. If I hit it again, it's going to resume. Now you can set your own hotkeys because these may be a little hard to remember. To do that, you would hit the X right here, select the box, and then hit X. And then you want to click this and hit the keyboard combinations that you want for your start slash stop hotkey. I'm going to do Command Edge, and now if I hit Command Edge, it's going to do exactly this. And I can do the same thing for pause slash resume. Let's hit X and go for maybe Command M. So you can set your own hotkeys and this is great because you will most likely not forget these, but if it were the default hotkeys, it may be hard to remember. Let's go ahead and start recording. I'm going to hit this red button. I'm going to get this command edge to stop recording and it's going to stop after five seconds. There we go. Uh, I set the timer to five seconds and now you can see I got the video right here. I can go ahead and drag it, maybe edit the thing. I'm going to match it, give the project settings actually. I have this uh, screen recording of my screen. I can bring it in, edit it, and then export it. Let's go ahead and close this. Okay, so there's my screen recording because we set a five second timer. Let's go ahead and try other settings. I'm going to bring down this drop down menu. Let's not put a timer. I'm going to set my FPS and quality low on purpose so we can see the difference. Bring this to 15, bring this to low. Show mouse clicking and we're going to hit, let's change my thing here, command edge. All right, I'm going to start recording again. There we 
There we go. I'm going to do a few clicks and I'm going to move my mouse quite fast all around. Do a few clicks over here so we can see how that looks. And I'm going to bring my Filmora window so we can see some of the text and how uh, the quality affects it. Let's just move around. Okay, now I'm going to hit Command Edge to stop recording. There's my second video. Let's do that again, but with a high quality setting. Go in Settings, set this to 60, quality to high. Start recording. This time we have high quality settings and I can see the difference. Do a few clicks here. There we go. Let's open Filmora again. Look at the text. Do a few clicks all around. All right, then hit Command Edge or whatever hotkey you kept. Before opening it in Filmora, I'm going to take a look at it here. This was the low resolution. Let's have a look at the part where we get Filmora. So we can see some of the text and how uh, the quality affects it. So again, my mouse is very glitchy. And if I'm showing something um, important, like going through different settings at a fast rate, I want a fast FPS so I can capture each of those movements. Now let's go ahead and look at the high quality version. Let's go to the part where we have Filmora. So the clicking sound that you hear is because we check the mouse click sound, where in real life my mouse doesn't really have that clicking sound you can hear. But uh, once I check that, it's going to have this clicking sound. And this is just really fast compared to the lower FPS and lower quality. So that was how you can record your screen with Wondershare Filmora.